my other colleagues who spoke before me and I would like to thank the Master of Ceremony first, our Deputy Organizing Secretary. I would like to thank our National Chairman, Senator Morgan, Comit General Tsao. I would like to thank our Secretary General, Senator Monzora. I would like to thank Baba Vedu, Baba Manasseh Tsangrai, Yaona Baba Kodin Tsangrai Varipano, and I saw my son Vincent is here as well. So I'd like to thank all of them. I'd like to thank our women's chair and our youth chair and all standing committee members. More importantly, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to bless this very important occasion. And I'd like to begin by a quotation. On the 28th of August, 1963, the year I was born, Martin Luther King Jr. made an amazing I have a dream speech. And he said, I quote, I have a dream that one day every valley shall be engulfed, every hill shall be exalted, every mountain shall come low, every rough place shall be made smooth, every crooked place shall be made straight. This is our hope. This is the faith that I will go back with. And with this faith, we will make sure that we cut out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. Yes. And today, as I stand in front of you, as the acting president of MDCT, I too have a dream. And my dream is that one day, all the 14 million Zimbabweans have a better life. Yes. My dream is that all the 14.6 million Zimbabweans have food onto their table. Yes. My dream is that all the 14.2, all the 14.6 million Zimbabweans have a roof above their head. Mm -hmm. My dream is that all those who are in business are able to do their business and create jobs and create jobs so that those who want jobs will get jobs my dream is that when our children finish school they'll be able to get a job immediately yes. my dream is that every zimbabwean must have good health good education every zimbabwean must have clean water and sanitation yes. My dream is that every Zimbabwean must have the full enjoyment of their rights and freedoms. Mm -hmm. And my dream is a Zimbabwe which is going to be free from corruption because corruption has destroyed this nation. Mm -hmm. This is my hope. And with this faith, we will make sure that as Zimbabwe, we also cut out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. Today I stand in front of you to celebrate 21 years of existence and I stand in front of you as a proud acting president of MDCT. And I am very proud of our movement 
a movement which was born out of the trade union movement in 1999. When this child was born, it started participating in elections when it was nine months old. This child was not even walking, it was crawling. And this child contested against a man who was 20 years old. A man who could run like Hussein Bolt. But this nine month old baby who was crawling got 57 seats. And that and this 20 year old man. And this 20 year old man got 62 seats. A difference of five seats. Can you imagine a baby who is crawling against a 20 year old man? A baby getting 57 and this one 62. A difference of just five seats. This became a clear demonstration that when this child grows up, this child was going to make wonders. Mm -hmm. This child was going to make miracles. Mm -hmm. And indeed, eight years down the line, in 2008, this child made a history. Mm -hmm. This child, for the first time in the history of Zimbabwe, beat this 20-year-old man. Mm -hmm. That was history. Mm -hmm. This child produced a deputy prime, min a prime minister. This child produced a deputy prime minister. This child produced ministers and deputy ministers. This child produced mayors and, and deputy mayors. This child became the hope of the whole nation. Yes. Forty years ago, to be more precise, on the 18th of April, 1980, the Mugabe establishment made a promissory note. And they promised the people of Zimbabwe that every Zimbabwean was going to have a better life. But alas, the sad reality is that they defaulted on that promise. Yes, amen. They then gave Zimbabweans a bad check. They gave Zimbabweans a check which was written in sufficient funds. <laughs> and as MDCT, we categorically refuse that there are insufficient funds in the vaults of, these, of, 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 of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a very rich country. Yes, yes. Zimbabwe has enormous resources. It has gold, it has diamond, it has platinum, it has methane gas, you name it. This is a very rich country. This is the time that we move from the darkness to the sunshine. This is the time that the people of Zimbabwe are moved from the land uh, of Egypt to Canaan, the promised land, where there is milk and honey. Zimbabwe turned 40 years this year. And I'm going to equate these 40 years with the 40 years where the children of Israelites were in the desert and for 40 years without food and water going to the promised land where there was going to be milk and honey. And for the last 40 years as Zimbabweans, we have been wandering in the desert without food and water going to the promised land. This is the time the government moves the people of Zimbabwe from the land of hunger and poverty to the land of plenty. Zimbabwe is a very rich country, but there is absolutely nothing to show that we are a rich country. Because when I look at all of us right now, I'm supposed to be seeing gold and diamond glittering in all our eyes. But what is it that I'm seeing right now? I'm seeing hunger, hunger, hunger and poverty glittering in all our eyes. Is this is the battle we are. This is the time for the government to move the children of Zimbabwe from the land of hunger to the promised land. Where there is milk and honey. We tested that milk and honey during the inclusive government. During the inclusive government, shops had been closed, hospitals had been closed, schools had been closed. But once Sarah stepped in, there was dollar for two. All these institutions opened. People enjoyed buying. People had a better life. And I'd like to call upon President Nanova to say, to say the people of Zimbabwe are saying, can you please take them back to the good old days where they had a better life? Mm. I want to call upon President Nagaba to say the people of Zimbabwe are yelling, they are crying. Can you please listen to the cries of the people of Zimbabwe? Mm. The people of Zimbabwe are asking for food. Mm. The people of Zimbabwe are asking for jobs. Mm. They are asking for clean water and sanitation. Mm. They are asking for good health. Mm. They are asking for good education. Mm. 
the people of Zimbabwe are asking so that they start enjoying the, 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 the rise and freedoms of this country. The people of Zimbabwe are just yearning for a better life. And Mr. President, can you please satisfy the needs of the people by making sure that by making sure that you give every Zimbabwean basic necessities, all the basic that, that, that they need. That is all they are crying for. That is all they are crying for. Please, Mr. President, can you listen to the yearning Zimbabweans? Please listen to them and give them what they are asking for. Yes. I would like to thank those people who made us what to be we are today. Those people who gave birth to this party called NDC. And I'm here to thank our mother first. And our mother is the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions. Our mother who gave birth to us on the 11th of September 1999. Hence why today we are celebrating 21 years of existence. us about constitutionalism. Our mother said, you must always respect your own constitution so that you are able to respect the country's constitution when you become government. Yes. Our mother said, you must always respect democratic principles. In whatever you do, make sure that you follow democratic principles because democracy must be your core value. Yes. Our mother taught us that non-discrimination is a no-no. Our mother said, don't discriminate people based on gender, based on tribe, based on race, based on religion. It's a no-no. Our mother taught us that non-violence is a no-no. Don't use violence for political expediency. Don't use violence to get any political power. This is what our mother taught us. And I would like to thank our mother very much for giving us those values and principles of the country. the National Constitutional Assembly. They taught us constitutionalism. And I would like to thank in particular Professor Lav Momatuku, who was a member of the NCA and also was one of those people who wrote our constitution. And he went on to defend our constitution during the Mashavire case and he won. This is why we are here today because of him. And it's important that we thank him. And I saw Lawyer Sengweni there as well, would like to thank him very much, and every other person who contributed. I would also like to thank the students' movement, the women's movement, the churches, the civil society, because they contributed to the formation of this movement. I would also like to thank in a special way our founding fathers and mothers, the late Gibson Spander, the late Isaac Matongo, the late our icon, Dr. Morgan Richard Swangirai, a great man who told, was very courageous. A great man who gave a better life to Zimbabweans. A great man who brought dollar for two. A great man who vowed that he was going to fight to the finish. And indeed, he fought to the finish. He ran a good race and he fought a good fight. May his soul rest in eternal peace together with all other comrades. I'd also like to thank the late Nicholas Mzengerere, the late um, Remas Mokua Makwaza. I would like to thank our Deputy Organizing Secretary, Kif Chimanikiri. He was one of the eight people who was um, tasked by the ZCTU to go and form the Movement for Democratic Change. I would like to thank my dear sister, Honorable Corina Mpariwa. She was the chairperson of the ZCTU Women's Advisory Council, and yours truly was the secretary of the ZCTU Women's Advisory Council. And uh, these eight people are the ones we are tasked by the ZCTU to go and work with other organizations. We did so and we had a working people's convention in February 1999, which unanimously agreed that a party called the MDC be formed. And on the 11th of September 1999, we officially launched the Movement for Democratic Change at Trufaro Stadium, where our, 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 our guidance, Councillor Makuyana, was the master of ceremony at that particular function. So I'd like to thank you very much. <laughs> and I'd like to thank our councillors, are they here? Um, Mayor Mukunguma, Councillor Metu, and all the other councillors for being our strong support system. I'd like to thank our members of parliament for being our strong, our strong support system. But more importantly, 
I would like to thank you, the members of MDC. <laughs> Without you, there is no party. You are the pillars of this organization. Mm -hmm. You have been holding this party for 21 years. A building without pillars cannot be a building. Mm -hmm. A building with weak pillars will collapse. But you are strong pillars because you remained holding this movement for 21 years. This is why it is what it is right now. And I would like to urge you so that we work together every step of the way until we arrive at our destination. And our destination is a Zimbabwe where there is going to be food. Our destination is a Zimbabwe where everyone will have shelter. Our destination is a Zimbabwe where we will have good health, good education. Our destination is a Zimbabwe which is going to be free from corruption. Our destination is a Zimbabwe where everyone will have the full enjoyment of their rights and freedoms. Our destination is a Zimbabwe where all of us will have a better life. This is why we are here. So thank you very much. Let us remain united. Let us remain resolute. Let us remain steadfast and solid like a rock until we arrive at our destination. May the Lord Almighty bless you all. May the Lord Almighty bless Zimbabwe. May the all, Lord Almighty Bless the movement for democratic change team. Amanda. Amanda. Jesus MDC Jesus. Jesus. Jesus MDC Jesus. I think I thanked all my colleagues. Isn't it? I didn't leave anyone behind. Because I want to work with everybody else. Happy 21st anniversary, MDC. Happy 21st anniversary. I wish you all the world, all, all, all the best. Oh, yeah.